Hello friends, you are watching Pathology Discussion Forum. In last video, we have discussed about Philadelphia chromosome. If you haven't seen it, then you can click on the link that will be provided at the end of this video. Today, I will discuss about KI67. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then you can press the subscribe button below to get our videos instantly. So, what is KI67? KI67 is widely used in routine pathological investigations as proliferation marker. Clinically, KI67 has been shown to correlate with metastasis and clinical stages of tumor. Also, it has been shown that KI67 expression is significantly higher in malignant tumors with poorly differentiated tumor cells. Now, regarding the historical aspect, first KI67 antibody was generated by immunizing mice with nuclei of Hodgkin lymphoma cells. The name KI67 has derived from the city of origin, that is KL, which is situated in Germany and the number 67 is the clone number. KI67 is a labile non-histone nuclear protein that is expressed in G1, S, G2 and M phases of cell cycle. But KI67 is not detectable in G0 phase. Whereas MIB1 is the antibody against KI67 for formalin fixed paraffin embedded tissues. Now let's talk about the pattern of staining. The characteristic staining pattern of KI67 is that it stains the nucleus specifically. During interface, the KI67 antigen can be exclusively detected within the nucleus, whereas in mitosis, most of the protein is relocated to the surface of chromosomes. Now let's move on to the prognostic significance of KI67. It is used for assessing prognosis as well as resistance to chemotherapy and treatment efficacy. High percentage of staining reflects worse prognosis. Now let's talk about the utility of KI67. It helps to differentiate between benign and malignant lesions. For example, H cell that is KI67 positive but atrophy or normal cervical tissue is KI67 negative. Also, the colonic adenomas are KI67 positive but non-adenomatous polyps are KI67 negative. Also, it differentiates melanoma which is KI67 positive from Neva cell that is KI67 negative. Also, in case of Hillot's tumor, it can distinguish benign, borderline and malignant lesions. Now let's talk about the KI67 leveling index. By calculating the percentage of nuclei with positive staining, a tumor can be classified into low, intermediate and highly proliferative. If less than 10% of the cells showing positive staining, then it is called as low. If 10 to 20% of the cells showing positive staining, then it is borderline. And if more than 20% of the cells are showing positive staining, then it is called as high. Now regarding the therapeutic use, in recent years, a new technique known as RNA interference has been developed, which suppresses the gene expression mediated by siRNAs or small interfering RNAs. siRNA mediated inhibition of KI67 expression leads to significant inhibition of proliferation. In future, this technique may be used in the treatment of cancers with high KI67 leveling index. This picture showing loss of KI67 expression after treatment with siRNA. Now let's have a look at some of the awesome microphotographs of KI67 expression. Also, this beautiful background showing KI67 positivity. Here the KI67 positive nuclei are reddish in color. Okay, that's it for today. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now let me close this session with a beautiful quote. What you learn with pleasure, you never forget. Thank you.